Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. With the fact that we've got Awakened Solus coming in the next couple days to the test server, it leaves us with one faction that doesn't have an Awakened character yet. And I wanted to have a bit of a fun discussion video, see your guys' thoughts, get your opinions, see what you think is going to be the Awakened Graveborn. I'm going to talk through some stuff, uh, some different ideas, some like out-of-the-box ideas that I really hope they'll go through if they do more Awakened units. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But let me know. Like before I even get into the video, who do you think will be the awakened at Graveborn and why? I'm keen to see your guys' thoughts. I have a very strong opinion on who I think should be the, the awakened Graveborn. Um, as for who will, let, let, let's discuss. Now, the first thing I want to talk about before we even get into who will be the awakened Graveborn. I just want to talk about a cool concept that I really think they should do is that if they do another round of awakened heroes, they should all come from the legendary tier. Tell me we shouldn't have like an awakened Muriel, an awakened Savius, an awakened Ira, and honestly, any of these three for Graveborn. That would be sick. I mean, Nero is kind of cool because he's, you know, he's Damon's dad, you know, the, the whole Shamir thing, all that. And then Vidan would be a sick one because, you know, like he's like the dad of the two demon girls if you call it i don't i don't listen i don't read the law too well i just know he's the dad of isabella and uh sylvina so that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge there but even he, he, honestly if sylvina got a nice awaken form that would be sick because i love assassins so i think that would be wicked but honestly i'm really hoping they do that or i'm hoping like the next thing that they introduce is like a, a, a next stage of these guys. I really want to see these guys playable. Like Ira, I can't remember. I, I probably won't be able to find it. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to Google it as we speak. Uh, AFK. <laughs> like I'll bring it up if I find it. Arena Ira riding wolf. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. It was on an ad. Okay, like, let's open this. Right, let's uh, let's let you guys see this. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Wow, this is from eight months ago, is it? No, back wrong page. Okay, there we go. Let's just let's just look at it here. Okay, so if I give you guys this screen right here. This. Uh, now I know this is very basic. I think I've seen a better one. Uh, let's let's see if we can find one. Images. I think I, I think I saw a better one somewhere. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. But you get the gist. It was it was Ira riding a wolf. Now, something like that would be absolutely mind-blowing. I know I'm going way off topic here, but can we please get that in the game? I don't care if it's Awakened Forms or like at some new mechanic they bring in for, you know, like you've got to fodder like eight. It would be really cool. Okay, now I'm getting way sidetracked, but we're going to go through here because I, I, I'm enjoying myself talking about this. But like, even if you had to feed like eight ascended tier heroes to like then limit break a legendary to bring them to the next level and then they get their own sort of awakening, but it's not like as like restrictive as summoning for awakening awakened heroes and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like something like that, be, like that would be cool. Sorry, we got off topic, but... Lilith, like, if you need design ideas, hit me up. I'm happy to help you guys out because that should be a thing. Let me know if I'm being stupid as well in the comments. That's just something I would love to see. Now, on to the main, <laughs> onto the main topic of the video. Uh, also, if I look really red in my face, uh, I went to the snow and got burnt to an absolute crisp. I forgot. I haven't been to the snow in, like, years, and I forgot you get burnt from the sun reflecting and... Yes. Okay, I'm going to pull myself up. I'm going to pull myself up. We're going to get back on track. So let's go through these characters. So Grizzle, first of all. So with, with the Awakened characters, I want them to be like what Solus is, like what Thane was, like a character that doesn't see much use, but has like a decent fan base around them um, to give them new viability and at least have a version of them playable. Grizzle is so meta. It's not funny. We don't need an Awakened Grizzle. Please don't do Awakened Grizzle. That's all I'm going to say on the topic. Shamira. Now, <clears throat> Shamira is my number one choice for the Graveborn Awaken unit. I think she is the perfect option. She's very iconic in the game. If you played like near launch or in like the first year of the game, like you got hyped when you pulled a Shamira. She was everyone's main carry. She was absolutely godly. Then she got power crept. The game scaled too high. And then she got absolutely crap. And now no one uses her. But everyone still like has that. Like you can't lie and tell me you don't have that little bit of love for Shamira in the back of your mind. So Shamira would be my number one choice for the Graveborn Awaken unit. But 
what would you do with her? Now, like normally they're trying to do like class swaps, but obviously Thane, the Awakened Thane didn't do a class swap. He stayed Ranger. So like you don't have to. I would like, I think if they did Shimera, she would stay a mage and she'd just become like some like godly, uh, I don't know, some crazy, maybe she takes the mask off and like it gives her extra powers. Or maybe it's like flame. Uh, I, I don't know, but Shimira needs to be the awakened unit. I, I think, I, I, I feel like a lot of us can agree. If you don't agree with me, uh, just go, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's fine. This is my opinion, the best option for awaken. Um, she could stay mage if they wanted to go crazy. Like, I don't want her to be a support because it looks like Solus is doing the mage to support. I'd love to see her go to like a ranger just somehow. I don't know how. Maybe she she turns her sphere in and like she makes like, maybe she's like the green lantern and she makes like spears and daggers that she throws with energy because her ball's green. I, I literally just thought of that on the spot and it really sucks. So I don't know how they're going to do it, but please make Shamira the Awakened unit. It would make me very, very happy. Moving on to the next one. What do we got? Thorin. No, Thorin doesn't need it. Thorin's meta. I hate playing Thorin, but he's a thing. I don't think Thorin's like a great character either. I don't think anyone has like a fondness over Thorin. Um, if anything, I feel like more people hate Thorin because of how annoying it is to cheese uh, than anything else. So Thorin, no, except his skin his skin is fantastic. <laughs> okay. Isabella. I'd love to see Isabella as well. Um, I think Isabella's had her love. She's not as iconic as something like Shamira. So I don't think she fits the slot as well. Um, but I've always been a massive fan of Isabella, especially after her rework. I think she's got like one of the best animations on this ability. Oops. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Can we get it? 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 It's like savage. I love that animation. But she has had her rework already. She's got some love. I think she just needs a bit more buff. I feel like we need more balance changes in general to bring some characters up. But, you know, Isabella, I don't think she's going to be it. However, if she did get it, I would be very happy. Nara is another one that I see being a very easy option for them to do. Um, you know, if they want to change her class, it's quite easily easy to go from that warrior over into a ranger and just be like, hey guys, we changed the class. Um, however, I don't think she really needs it. I, I'm just too hung up on Shamira, but you know, Nara, I, I feel like Nara has been around long enough. People know her well enough and people wouldn't be upset if she did get the awaken. I wouldn't. But uh, once again, not my, not my number one choice. More, more of like an easy choice. Pharrell, I don't think Pharrell needs it. I feel like Pharrell is always going to be Pharrell and people are just love Pharrell for his spirits and his fear. And, you know, he, he's always going to have some sort of viability. I don't know what you do with Pharrell um, in an awakened form. I just think he's a savage looking character anyway. Uh, he doesn't need it. But if they did it, knowing the way Lilith designed their characters in this game, um, I'm, I'm sure if they made an awakened Pharrell, he would look absolutely savage. There's no doubt about it. Baden. Now, Baden is honestly my number two choice. My number two choice. I would love to see a Baden viable in more content. Um, I, I just feel like I feel like you could really evolve on this concept concept of what he is. Um, you know, like you could easily change him into a tank or a ranger. Either way, you want to do it. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not completely around the lore. I know he was friends with Thane, all that stuff, but. I, I just think you could evolve this character even more with an awakened one. And maybe like, may, maybe like he's got like spirits that are like, you know, he gets his phantoms out, but like, maybe he's like part phantom, part not phantom. And he's like having this like crisis I identity crisis. And he's like peeling himself apart because instead of creating these phantoms, like one is consuming him or something like that. And he's got like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like they could do a good job in Baden. So Baden would be my number two choice uh, to get the awakened version. Keltha, honestly, I've always loved Keltha. I just think the shuriken is too cool. I, I just love everything about Keltha, but he sucks. Actually, he's, he doesn't suck. He does have his niche uses. I would just like him to be more blanket usable. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't think he's right for an awakening. Then we have Silas. I, I feel like now we're getting into the range of characters. Like Silas is good enough. Odin's just god tier. We don't need a Odin. Izold, you know, Izold. 
Uh, may, uh, Izold's one I think could creep into it. He could creep in. He sort of lost the viability that he had. He had a he had a real like small period where he was like really really strong, and then he sort of dropped off. But I don't think he needs. It. I still think Izold's a beast. Uh, I I could see him as like the 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 random unit like that gets popped in there, but I don't think he will. And then as we go past that, no one cares about Torn really. I, I don't know anyone that loves Torn. You know, Damon's Damon. He's already got his spot. And now we're getting into like the newer units that aren't really going to be you know, seeking an awakened form yet. So that is going to be my thoughts. Just to recap, I think Shamira is my number one choice that I would love to see. Baden is my number two choice that I would love to see. Um, and then, you know, if Isabella, Nara, Pharrell, or Keltha got it, I'd be pretty happy. I just really don't want Grizzul or Thorin to get it. And anyone past Silas, I just think they're too new and they don't need one yet. But let me know what you guys think. Just a bit of a fun video. I like thinking about this stuff. But honestly, give us the Shamira Awaken and I'll be super happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.